Hi and welcome back to PJ Maybe. Today we're going to look at a 1976 TV show starring David Jason, Lucky Feller. Lucky Feller was David's second starring role in a sitcom. His first one being The Secret Life of Edgar Briggs. I'll look at that at a later date, but Lucky Feller, similar to Edgar Briggs, only got a first season. Neither of the two of them got picked up. Both of them had decent reviews at the time, but they just never got picked up. And I think Lucky Feller, I could understand why it did. It just seemed to come to a natural conclusion. And I think going on for a second season or further would have just made it a bit more complex. David stars as Shorty. His love interest, Kathleen, starred Cheryl Hall who played Shirley in Citizen Smith. Also had Peter Armitage, uh, who played Randy, and Pat Haywood, who played the mother. There was an on-air pilot on the DVD, as well as some image gallery, which was actually quite nice to see. The on-air pilot, the, the main difference was uh, Nikki Henson played Randy and Elizabeth Briggs played the mum. I think the pilot, the unair pilot, the changes between the two were, were necessary. The original pilot was filmed a year earlier so they had the year to look at it and change it and I think it worked well because in the unair pilot the mother didn't like Shorty. She doted over her older son Randy but she didn't like it, like her youngest son, Shorty. In the refilling pilot, she loved both of them. She, Randy was her blue-eyed boy, but she still loved her shy son, and she coddled him. So it was a, a nicer setup. It starts off that Shorty meets Kathy on a train and is smitten by her. And then when she meets his family, she falls for the brother. And it sets out a number of situations where she's constantly trying to get with the brother, whereas he's not interested. He's only out for a bit of fun with the ladies. He ends up sleeping with her and she's besotted with him and she manipulates Shorty so she can stay, try and get close to the brother. And within it she thinks she falls pregnant. She agrees to marry Shorty and I think that wasn't very well done because the mother and the brother find out later on that's what's happening. And they seem to actually accept it and just try and hide the fact just to protect Shorty. But they're quite happy for her to accept his marriage proposal because she thinks she's pregnant to the brother. So they have to, she has to manipulate him into having sex with her. So they go away for the day or for the weekend so she can sleep with him. So she, she, he thinks the baby's his for a later date. She can say she's pregnant and they need to get married. The story behind it no, is not a very well thought out story because in effect, it's the manipulation of someone who's shy and inexperienced just so she can stay as close to the brother as possible and hopefully get the brother involved. And considering she said she was pregnant and he had no interest in marrying her, she just manipulates the brother. David Jason is very good in it. He actually is typical David Jason. He's good at the slapstick, he's good at the pratfalls, and he's good at the character. However, the story is not a very good story, as far as I'm concerned. And I know it's a personal preference, and that's what I'm here for, giving you my personal view on it. But a show about a girl trying to manipulate someone just to so she can get near his brother and the brother and the mother agreeing to it and just 
letting it happen just so they could protect the youngest shy son doesn't come across very well there is a couple of other people in this there's Glenn Edwards who played Dave the barman from Minder and you've got Maggie Jones who plays Blanche in Coronation Street they play the mother and father of Kathleen and he plays it very well as the father who's out to protect his daughter and his daughter wraps him around his little finger but he automatically assumes anybody that's with his daughter is just after one thing so like first time he meets uh, Shorty he asks him is he a virgin just to make sure he's not just out for fun times with his daughter the other other characters in this you've got Prunella Scales from Faulty Towers plays Tribble and it was nice to see her she was only in a couple of episodes and that was during the Dirty Weekend episodes and it turns out Shorty sleeps with her instead of his girlfriend or his fiance and it turns out she sleeps with Prunella Scales' husband without the two of them really known which I thought was a bit ridiculous considering and in the unaired pilot you had a scene with a drunk and Sylvester McCoy played the drunk and I think they played it a lot better than when they reshot it with Mike Grady who played Ken from Citizen Smith Sylvester McCoy was just a better drunk than Mike Grady was and it shows if you see you get an opportunity to see both of them doing it you'll see the big difference the show is basically all about Shorty trying to woo uh, Kath and it's about his misadventures and her adventures trying to get the brother and the brother ex- not accepting her. The brother is the ladies man. There's some nice scenes in this. There's the the one in the, the laundrette where he gets the blame for everything although he's the plumber there to fix the problems but he gets the blame for it. The the whole aspect of it, I just it's one of those ones that you could watch with your brain switched off and still think it was humorous. But as long as you didn't think about the story itself, it's okay to watch. But because you see it as a manipulation of someone who's quite shy just so she can be near another her his hotter brother and try and sleep with her, his brother well she's actually quite happy to marry Shorty because she thinks she's pregnant in some respects it's a programme you could see it made today but I don't I can understand why it never got any further like for instance she agrees to marry Shorty and at the end when she finds out she's not pregnant she runs away because she doesn't want to marry him but her father finds out that she thought she was pregnant and he automatically jumps to the conclusion it was Shorty that did it. So the last scene in the show was the father turning up at the, the church where Shorty's waiting to be married and punches him for getting his daughter pregnant. There's no way that show could come back from that because the way to go forward would he would have to forgive her for sleeping with someone else or they would still have to hide the fact that she ran away because she wasn't pregnant and didn't really want to marry him and she was only there to try and get with his brother so all in all this is an okay David Jason Park character so he's good in it but as a story and a comedy I think it fails quite spectacularly and I would definitely only give this a one, maybe one and a half out of five. It's if you like David Jason, it's something to watch. If you like a comedy, it's mediocre. And as a story of first love, it is terrible. It's a manipulative story that the his brother and his mother go along with just because and I just can't see, I can understand why it didn't get a second season. Although it did get good reviews at the time. So if you want to see Lucky Fella, it's out on DVD, it's a two disc set, 
and it's got the complete season and the on-air pilot. I think the on-air pilot is probably the best part of this whole show, and that was due to the fact that the scene with the drunk Sylvester McCoy was funny. It was good slapstick fun. So I hope you liked that review, and any comments, please do not hesitate and leave one, I'll get back to you. And if you like what you see, give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe if you haven't. I'm on YouTube, Odyssey and Mines, I'll put links in the description. And remember, I'm not old, I'm classic. PG may be out. <laughs>